What's up guys, it's Josh and we're back again with another video. Today we start a new series on my channel and I'm really excited. I had a lot of requests to make a video on how I study for my AP exams, but honestly, my study techniques really vary depending on the class. So I've decided to make this series instead. So I'll be making separate videos for each AP exam that I took, and in those I'll be able to discuss my overall experience in the class, as well as some of my tips to be successful in the class and on the exam. Welcome to AP Survival Guide, BC Calculus Edition. Let's get into it. So I took Calculus BC my junior year. So I had just moved from Texas to Virginia and was new to my high school, so I had no idea what to expect. I quickly learned that my high school had just hired a new Calc teacher, and he was from Cameroon. Apparently the old teacher was absolutely amazing, and she had started her own online video tutoring service called Calc Workshop. And it had become so successful that she left teaching to focus on it. The new teacher didn't have the best reputation though, because he was known for having a really thick accent and being really hard to understand. Despite hearing these rumors, I went into the class open-minded. The first couple weeks were rough to say the least. I not only had to deal with the inconsistencies between the math curriculum, between my Texas high school and my Virginia high school, but also had trouble understanding my teacher to the point when I didn't even know what days quizzes and tests were on. As gradually as time went on, our class adjusted to our teacher and uh, we began to develop kind of a companionship among all the juniors in BC Cal. Despite the hard content I was learning, I really began to appreciate my teacher's persistent teaching technique, and his poor attempts at humor were pretty funny too. Like instead of saying chain rule, it always came out as she wu. And then he would also do this thing where like, normally when teachers ask you questions, they'll kind of have you complete their sentences. Well, he was a little different. He'd have you complete his words. So he would be like, well, as the limit approaches eh, 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 infinity, yes, infinity, <laughs> and his, his voice inflection was the best. L'hôpital say. All right, I'm done with that. I, I'm making a fool of myself. As the year went on, the list of inside jokes between all of my classmates grew to an incredible length. BC Calc for me was just an overall great experience, and I'm really glad I was able to score a five on the exam. Now let's get into my tips. Calculus is one of those classes where you're going to have to memorize a lot of stuff. Whether it be rules for differentiation or integration, or memorizing Taylor and Maclaurin series. What I found most helpful was not necessarily memorizing everything exactly how it was printed in the textbook, but rather understanding how the rule was derived. So I would be able to do the work to find it if I ever forgot. While working through problem sets in this class, you're also gonna hit a lot of brick walls. Questions are going to catch you off guard you're not gonna know how to answer them. You have to do a lot of practice to become accustomed to all the different types of questions that you could be asked for each major concept. All of my homework in this class was out of the textbook, but the good part, it was all pretty much optional. A lot of people did not do any homework all year long and I would not recommend that. What I did was I'd do the odd problems in the textbook so I'd be able to get immediate feedback when I looked at the answers in the back of the book. I'd do practice problems until I felt confident with a certain concept and then I'd move on. This is a fast moving class and you probably won't have time to get to all the recommended problems. One of the hardest parts about this class is not necessarily doing the differentiation or integration, but knowing how to set up the problems and apply certain rules in the right places. I mean, you're allowed a calculator for half of the AP exam. A calculator that can do all the integration and differentiation all by itself. These calculator problems are all about being able to do some critical thinking on the spot and know how to set up different problems. My biggest piece of advice for this class is a little personal creation of mine that I'm quite proud of. We'll call it the Beasley method. The Beasley method is where you look at your syllabus the night before class and see what chapter you'll be working on that day. Then you go to your textbook, and you try to teach yourself all the content that will be discussed that day and try some of the practice problems out. This will not be easy. You will have to struggle through it. So when you get to school the next day, you can focus on practicing rather than freaking out because you don't understand the concept. This helped me tremendously and it's not something I've heard anyone else talk about. One more great resource for me was Khan Academy. They have countless videos on every major concept that's discussed in the class and he's really easy to understand and his videos are enjoyable to watch. As for tips for the AP exam itself, I spent the couple weeks leading up to the exam going through all my old notes and redoing all those important problems because I already had the answers there so I could check them immediately. Once I finished that, I moved on to the Princeton Review Book where I did all the practice tests. And finally, I don't know if you guys realize this, but the FRQs from every BC Calculus test that has ever been administered 
are on the College Board website. I took advantage of this and did every FRQ from the last five years. Once you start grinding out these FRQs one after another, you'll realize that they are very similar year to year. It got to the point for me where I knew exactly what they were gonna ask me on the FRQs on the actual exam. That's pretty much it. Review your notes and get your hands on as much practice material as possible. If you review every major concept, nothing should come as a surprise when you walk into that exam room in May. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Hey, maybe you even learned something. If you would like to support more content from me, drop a like and hit that big red subscribe button. Comment down below any questions or concerns or what you thought of the video. I try to respond to everyone. As always, I'll be back again tomorrow at 3 p.m. with another video. See you soon.